Hello guys, I am Palak and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on a complete travel guide to Maldives which happens to be one of the most sought after honeymoon destinations for couples who love beaches and um, in this video I will be talking you through um, the basic questions one might have before planning their travel to Maldives. I will be answering questions starting from uh, what, what is the best time to travel to what is the number of days that you should spend spend in Maldives, then the budget, uh, the accommodation and um, things like that. Pretty much everything, like all the basic questions. So about uh, last year in December, I planned my travel to Maldives and uh, I had to go through a lot of research right from blogs to Quora to a lot of reading to actually plan my travel to Maldives because I did not want to go through some private operators and just plan my own travel. So I thought uh, why not consolidate all those findings plus my my learnings from my trip uh, into this video so that uh, you can um, easily travel your um, uh, sorry easily plan your travel to Maldives pretty convenient right so without any further blabbering let's just get to the point and start the video uh, so first up we'll talk about the best time to travel to Maldives uh, I'll recommend you guys to travel somewhere in November to April because uh, that is the best time to travel and the rest of the months um, it's monsoon there so the water is not very clear uh, and it's difficult to spot aquatic life and then uh, the next basic question is about uh, how to reach Maldives uh, from India so uh, you'll uh, get your cheapest flight tickets from the city of Kochi there are a lot of flights uh, right from Spicejet, Sri Lankan Airlines and even Air India if I'm not wrong uh, that um, run between uh, Kochi and Mali uh, which is the airport there and uh, the flight should not cost you uh, more than 6,500 to 7,000 per person uh, for one direction of travel so uh, once you reach uh, the airport, uh, the visa is on arrival uh, and it will not take more than 10 minutes to get the visa processing done. So it's a pretty uh, convenient procedure uh, there. And also um, Maldives is a cluster of a lot of small islands and the airport happens to be located on one of the islands which is called Hulhule and uh, the capital city Male is a separate island altogether. So um, now these islands can be classified into two types one will be the local islands where the locals stay uh, and however also offer accommodations for the tourists and the other kind is um, the private islands where every island has just one resort and it is a very secluded stay with uh, beach bungalows and water villas so if you are wanting to stay in a local island then I completely completely recommend Mafushi which happens to be by far the best local island that will offer you everything that you need for a perfect vacation in Maldives and the typical room rental in this place will uh, range from about 7,000 to 8,000 per night if booked well in advance uh, and uh, these are pretty good places that I am talking about next when it comes to private islands you can of course uh, stay either in water villas or beach bungalows uh, there so a typical water villa will cost you uh, around uh, say 40,000 uh, per night and a typical beach bungalow will cost you around 25,000 per night and uh, of course living in water villa would be a complete different experience altogether it will be complete luxury guys so of course you you would want to check it out once in your lifetime now just to give you a fair idea on how much money it will take in total for a trip if you plan only to stay on a local island with uh, all the activities and a very good stay then it will take about uh, 75,000 per person for a five day trip also this cost may vary from person to person because uh, the preferences in food is different or the uh, preferences in the kind of activities you want you might want to do in Maldives is different so this is just a rough figure that I am um, quoting here so um, depending on this you can just try to plan your travel um, according to your budget so I will be giving the links to all kinds of stay in the description bar below so that you can uh, check that out. 
also i forgot to mention the um, currency that is widely accepted you have both maldivian rufia as well as um, dollar that is accepted everywhere uh, however i would recommend you to get your dollars exchanged to maldivian rufia uh, at the airport there are exchange counters there not uh, all the money but uh, a very little amount that you might need somewhere uh, just for emergency otherwise dollar is widely accepted so now coming to what all activities that you can do in Ma uh, Maldives you need not plan anything before going to Maldives uh, because uh, there are a lot of private tours that are organized say by your hotel or by other hotels and even by this parent company called Icom Tours and Travels I would be giving uh, the link in the description bar below so uh, this company uh, will organize all these excursions uh, right from snorkeling in various kinds of regions. Um, scuba diving, uh, you have canoeing, paragliding, uh, night fishing wherein you go uh, fish hunting and then eat the same fish that you have uh, caught during that activity. And last but not the least, there is um, the uh, half day excursion to an island uh, which is very very secluded uh, in the midst of water. They just leave you there and you can just have the lunch surrounded by the crystal clear waters. So uh, yeah, there is a lot to do in Maldives, just depends on your preference, uh, what you would like to explore and what you would like to do. So obviously uh, doing all these activities in a local island would be a lot more cheaper when compared to the water villa. And also uh, there's one more very very important thing, if you want to experience the water villa or how a private resort looks like, there are day excursions that are organized from uh, various local islands to these water villas at a very minimum cost it's not a lot i think it is 120 dollars per person and uh, wherein uh, there is a lunch buffet included with unlimited alcohol and they take you to these islands so you are given access to everything on these private islands except the water villa of course so that is one that experience is one of a kind if you're not ready to shell out a lot of money to go and stay in a private island this thing comes to your rescue and in this way you are at least able to see how these islands look like or how a water villa looks like so i'm sure uh, that is one of the things that is a must try in maldives if you are staying on a local island so this brings me to the end of my video. I hope I was able to help you out in some way. Uh, I will be giving all the important links in the description bar below. If you have any further comments or suggestions, do uh, write in the comment section below and I'll be most happy to uh, answer to them. And if you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Last but not the least, let's just rewind and look at some of my fun moments in Maldives. I hope this gives you all the more reason to travel to this beautiful place because it's just awesome. The pristine clear waters will just get to you and moreover this place is just 5 feet above sea level so all the more reason for you to plan your travel right? I hope you enjoyed this video. For more such videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time with my next video. Till then stay happy. Bye bye.